always tracking, always alerting. Storm Team 8. A lot to talk about today. Here are the big headlines. So this is the order that we're going to follow. Strongest severe storms are possible this evening. It is going to be a touch less humid tomorrow, so that's an improvement, and then much less humid this weekend. So we really are going to see a lot of relief here shortly. But in the short term, the biggest thing that we're watching for, the chance for strong to severe storms, we have so much fuel in the atmosphere. It's literally almost like gasoline for thunderstorms. It's just sitting there, all the heat and the humidity together. And because we're starting to see some storm initiation, some storm spark and fire, that's really all we need in order for more to form and track through West Michigan. You can see the color table here. You can see most locations are at least in a two out of five in terms of risk scale, but areas on the east side of the state have a much better chance of seeing strong to severe storms. Biggest threat is going to be heavy rain and lightning. Keep that in mind, especially for some of the frenzy games. Damaging winds also possible. Timing is going to be about 7 o'clock to midnight. We're starting to see some of the storms fire on the other side of Lake Michigan, also far northern lower. Uh, Michigan. So with those two things happening, it's increasing our confidence that we're going to see more. Hail a possibility. Tornado is also a possibility, but it's just a little bit on the lower end. And a lot of these showers and storms are expected to form near I-96 and then track south. Again, if we look upstream, you can see it's kind of already at that same latitude of I-96. And we expect more of these showers and storms to form around that same line and then continue to track down to the southeast. Some severe thunderstorm warnings have been issued with this line already. You can see how they're erupting with a lot of heavy rain and lightning, and they're continuing to pace pretty quickly towards us. So our future casts are picking up on the potential of this activity, and they're jumping on it a little too soon. For example, they have this at 7 o'clock. I think that we're likely going to see activity at 7 o'clock, maybe not to this caliber yet. However, it does give us a good indication of what's likely going to happen as we see a strong to severe storm roll into our area. It should start a chain reaction that eventually just tracks through. So 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock, we could continue to see this line of strong to severe storms, at the very least heavy rain push through. And then in the wake of it, we'll finally start to see some clearing for Friday. Friday is going to be a partly cloudy day, 84 degrees. Again, still a little on the humid side, but not as humid. A shower is possible late in the day before we start to move towards much more comfortable conditions for Saturday. So this is the short term, a lot of 90s on the board, exceptionally humid. In fact, record tying humidity for our area. And then we do see a lot of improvement Saturday, Sunday. But Brian, Sue, if anything sparks severe thunderstorm wise, again, we will be the first to let you know. Days like this, it can happen fast too. Yeah. Yep. All right, you're here. Ellen, thank you.